Calls for increased freedom come from the Kabale, situated in the north of Algeria. It is a barren mountain region inhabited by Berbers, original people of the Maghreb. Today there are a minority people of 7 million, speaking their own language, the Tamazigh. Three years ago the Berbers came to protest against the government. The demonstrators not only wanted respect for their ethnic identity, but also demanded an open society and full democracy, something most Algerians wish for. The government's response was brutal. 150 teenagers were shot dead by security forces. However, the Berbers aren't giving up lightly. Organized only in a powerless independent party, they ask, among other things, for their language to be considered equivalent to Arabic. But the government refuses to act without a referendum. In no other country of this world is acceptance of a major language dependent on a referendum. We don't want that because it would lead to a division of the Algerian population. Every dictatorship acts on behalf of a national social myth and negates parts of reality. This happened in communism as well as pan-Arabism or in Hitler's fascism. As you know, there was a connection with Hitler in Austria. We also experienced a connection to the dictators in Algeria. It's an ideological connection. We want Algeria to get over this inclination so as to find themselves in the world again. Avec le pan-Arabisme, on s'en sépare. We are not hindered by the Arab, but the Algerian state. The rulers have led us into a dead end street. We are not hindered by the Arab, but the Algerian state.